Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to deploy Entria as your container network for your Kubernetes clusters using Rancher. So before we jump into Rancher and do the configurations, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you where I'm actually deploying these Kubernetes nodes in my home lab. So as you can see here, I have vSphere and vCenter already deployed and configured in my environment. I also deployed and configured NSXT and did all the necessary configurations to make sure routing is working. The Kubernetes nodes will be provisioned on a segment called RKE-nodes. And this segment has DHCP enabled and is also connected to the tier one logical router called Rancher. And this tier one logical router is connected to the tier zero and a tier zero has a BGP pairing with my upstream router. So today we're gonna to focus on the configuration of Rancher to automatically provision Entria as our CNI for our Kubernetes nodes. As you can see, I have two clusters deployed already, but for today's demo, we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new cluster. So I'm gonna click on the hamburger menu, select cluster management. And before I click on this create button, I wanna draw your attention to the RKE configuration. I wanna expand that and I wanna look at no templates. So in order to provision a cluster, you have to reference a node template. For today, we're gonna to look at the RKE-demo cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. And we can see we have it pointing to our vCenter. I have it deploying on ESXi04. I've configured the Kubernetes nodes with two CPUs and two gigs of RAM. And I'm using the Rancher OS as the operating system. And I'm deploying this on the NSXT overlay that we just reviewed. So RKE-nodes overlay. So we can scroll down to the bottom and click cancel. And we'll go up to the left here and click clusters, create. We're gonna select VMware vSphere. And we're gonna give the cluster a name. We're gonna call it RKE-demo. And we're gonna create two pools. The first pool is gonna be for the controller. So we're gonna call it RKE-demo controller. And we're gonna create a second pool for our workers. We're gonna call this RKE-demo worker. And we're gonna bump up the count from one to two for the worker. And we're gonna select that template that we were just looking at for both. I'm gonna uncheck worker for the controller and make sure I select control plane and etcd. And if we scroll down, if I click on the network provider, we can see that Antria isn't on the list. So in order to add this, we can click on the edit as YAML. We can scroll down till we see networking. And before I do the configurations, I want to switch over to the Rancher documentation site. Um, I'll leave links in the description below so you can refer to them later and just go over what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we need to do is disable the deployment of the network plugin itself. And we can do that by setting the plugin to none. And once that's done, we can create a user-defined add-on called add-ons underscore include. And we're going to reference the Entria's URL for the YAML install file. So if we switch back over to Rancher, we're gonna go ahead and set the plugin to none. And we're gonna go ahead and add in that add-ons parameter. So add-ons underscore include. So now what we need to do is grab the URL to install Entria. And we can do this by going to the GitHub page. As you can see here, we wanna deploy the latest version of Entria. So we can copy this URL here, right click, copy, and we can go back to our YAML file here and paste that URL here. And we'll go ahead and click create. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna kick off the process of deploying the VMs into our vCenter environment. So if we switch over to vCenter, and as you can see, we start seeing the provisioning process for the demo controller as well as the workers. So this process is gonna take some time. So what I'm gonna do is speed up the video. And once the cluster is active, we're gonna log into the cluster and verify that Entria successfully deployed. Okay, it looks like our cluster was successfully deployed. So let's click on the hamburger menu again. We're gonna click on the RKE-demo. And we're gonna bring up the kubectl shell. And I'm gonna zoom in on the screen so we can see it. And we're gonna verify that Entria was successfully deployed by running the following command. kubectl get all dash capital A. And we're gonna filter using the grep, grep, and Tria, and press enter. And as you can see, the controller was successfully deployed, as well as the Entria agents. Since we have a three node cluster, three agents were deployed.
And that's it for today's demo. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, click the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.